What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We are currently on our way to Cassie's fifth birthday party. Are you excited Cassie? Gonna be so much fun. We got a special dress picked out for her. We have the most adorable cake. Yeah. All of the kids in her class invite all 17 girls in her class, so we're gonna have no, like pretty no, much 17 no, girls. No, no, there's only 19. Oh, 19, girls 19 that's like right. That. There are 19 girls in her class, and everyone's been inviting all 19 girls, so we're gonna have like 19 adorable girls running around. I just feel like it's so crazy that our baby is turning five. Like the day she was born was five years ago, pretty much, and I just can't believe how much she's grown up and and now she's in junior kindergarten and we have another one on the way like guys I've been in crazy nesting mode all of yesterday and today like we put together our bugaboo well basically Nathan put together the bugaboo well, <laughs> and help. yeah you helped mm -hmm. too and it was so it looks so good I'm so excited we're getting babies we're getting the baby's room all put together and it's looking so cute I'm just like going crazy nesting and tidying the house and doing all those things a new mom wants to do because I feel like this baby is gonna come and any day now <laughs> and I'm huge just little update there so she is, she is eight months yeah basically well eight or nine months actually because it's kind of like actually, the ninth month nine. the ninth month we're here now we're at the birthday party and we're gonna go in and I'll show you guys around it's Saskia you guys remember Saskia from our Cardi B video she did my big giant peacock tattoo I was gonna be painting some faces today of the kids Everything looks glamorous until you're icing your feet on a bag of peas. <sighs> so the party's over and I'm laying here. All the kids have gone home and my feet are icing. No, no. Guys, stop arguing. I'm trying to vlog. Welcome to motherhood. <laughs> Privacy. I can't even move. <laughs> Mom, where did you put your face? And my hands are still Mom. ginormous. What? After every midwife appointment, I stop and I grab myself a Tim Hortons breakfast because there's a Tim Hortons right by the midwife's office and I love Tim Hortons and I love their breakfast and I never have it for breakfast so. And also instead of coffee, I get French vanilla. So if you guys have been to Tim Hortons if you're Canadian, the French vanilla is like the sweetest coffee you've ever had. And that's my go-to right now. Right now I'm on my way back from what I thought was gonna be my last midwife's visit. Um, I'm 36, just over 36 weeks now, almost 37. As I'm getting pretty big. I feel like this baby is coming any day, but I saw the midwife, she was like, re she reassured me. She was like, don't worry, like the way you feel, it's super crappy, but it's normal. So she's like, you might be really uncomfortable and your baby could still be like on time. So it was reassuring, but at the same time, I was like, oh my God, I have to live through like another three or four weeks of this. So I don't know what to think at this point. I'm still gonna pack my hospital bag. I'm still gonna be completely ready for the birth. And I, you guys will be the first to know when I go into labor and when all of that stuff happens. So I'm heading back to film with Celise now that my appointment's over. We are finishing our collaboration. The collaboration is with Benefit Cosmetics. That's why my hair is all done and my makeup's all done. It's a dream brand to work with. I love their makeup. I've always been a fan of their brand. So by the time you see this, that video will probably already be out. So it's not a secret that I'm working with Benefit Cosmetics and I'm so excited about it. I currently have like a huge chunk of hair missing from the back. I'll put like a picture up here, but honestly it was like my worst nightmare coming true. Like a year ago I had a salon emergency where like this hairstyle is like bleached the crap out of my hair. And ever since then it has not been the same texture or weight um, or consistency. So I've really been having to do a lot of like damage control to my hair when I saw this I was so Scared like I was freaking out. I was messaging everybody being like 
do you guys see this too because I feel like I just lost a chunk of hair for no reason and it was just because that section was still so damaged that like it just couldn't take any more washes I haven't really worn extensions since I was like a teen but it's a really good way to kind of like cover up that gap in my head that's missing it's like so embarrassing walking around and having like a chunk of hair gone so my girl Amy's coming over she's like the best she knows everything about beauty they do my lashes they do my hair Amy's here <laughs> She's the hair whisperer. We're putting in some microbead hair extensions. I need a little help. <laughs> so I've done two side panels, one here and then one over here. I love it. Amy, you're the best. Thank you so much. This comes from the UK. It's a microbead on a weft. And here is how long her hair is. Uh, guys, I love it so much. Look how much longer it looks now. And now my bald spot's gone. <laughs> Everyone's freaking asking me about The Bachelor. And honestly, guys, I thought I was gonna hate it so much because Colton kind of bothered me on Bachelor in Paradise. Like, like I honestly thought that he was kind of like a mimbo. Like, he wasn't very bright. <laughs> So mean, I know. But like, I don't know. I just didn't really like him that much. But then when I saw the premiere, I was like, oh, like he's actually really classy and he's kind of a gentleman. The weird thing is like everyone's making such a big deal about him being a virgin. And I just honestly don't think that's a very big deal. Like, do you guys think that's a big deal? If he's waiting for the right person, like who cares? And why is everyone talking about it? It must be so off-putting for him that everyone's just focusing on it. If you are a virgin, it's not a big deal at all. It's just like a part of your life and you're gonna get that experience probably eventually anyway. The next one comes on tonight and I'm for sure gonna be watching because I'm Kimberly. Um, if you wanna hear my comments on like who I think the front runners are, I think Hannah is probably my front runner, but um, I will definitely give you my picks as well. So, oh, 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 I have to show you guys something. Ah! Oh my God, sometimes when I stand up, it's like the most painful thing ever. Ugh. I don't like it. Okay guys, look at this. My belly is officially massive. Yesterday when I was at the midwives, a lady came up to me and she was like, oh, you're having twins, aren't you? And I was like, oh. Like, it was so weird. Like for a split second, I actually thought that maybe she was right. And then I was like, no, 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 like, I'm having a boy and I'm having one baby. We, an ultrasound has been done and there's only one kid in there. So I think we're good. So can you guys see? I know it looks super weird in here with a Christmas tree in the background, but so I'm gonna get ready to start my benefit Q&A now. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys and I'll see you next week for another video on relationships. Bye.